Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PC Building a Simulator. I hope you're having a great day so far today. Let's jump into our email here. Let's see what we have going on. This first email here says, Dear Sir Madam, I'm after a new rig. Can you build something good? I'm hoping it will be able to benchmark around 5,063. I really want the CPU to overclock to 4,200 megahertz, and I want the GPU to be the fastest it can be. Let's aim for 2,160 megahertz. Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. I'm a total gigabyte fanboy. So a budget of $3,250 to get a 3D Mark score of 5,063. Let's go ahead. Let's accept that one. This next one here looks like it's a repair. It says, hey, can you repair something for me? Whatever's broken, you'll need to have a look at it to work out what's happened. I was playing with the jumpers. Didn't we just have one where somebody else was playing with jumpers? I'm pretty sure maybe like the last episode or so. People messing with jumpers. I don't even know if my motherboard has jumpers anymore. I know old school computers had jumpers. Do they still? Let me know down in the comments if your computer has jumpers on it. I, I need to check my motherboard and see. I have no idea. Anyway, I think I connected the wrong ones. My brother has Gigabyte in his PC. He says they are the best. I worry about used parts. So a budget of 500 bucks fix is probably replace his motherboard. But let's go ahead. Let's accept that one. And let's take a look at this one. It says, hi, are you available for a job? Can you build a PC for me? Can you custom water cool the whole system? In terms of time, can you get it finished in 10 days? I read that EK parts are really good. Heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. So they want a custom water cooled PC. Budget of $5,250. I'm sure we can make that happen for them. Let's go ahead. Let's accept that one. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get some parts for this build put into the shopping cart. And I will be right back. For this a custom water-cooled build, we're going to go with the MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC, a Threadripper 2920X, four sticks of Patriot Viper with white LED 8 gig, 3600 MHz, 256 gig M.2 drive, 850 watt thermal take power supply. We're going to put that in the Ragentech Payne, however you say that. For the water cooling parts for this, we're going to go with EK Everything, EK 360mm Radiator, EK Reservoir, EK CPU Block, and two EK 1080 Ti's. All right. So, for this next build, we need to overclock and get a 3D Mark score of 5,063. I'm going to step away, get some parts for this build, put in the cart, and I will be right back. For this next build, we're going to go with the Asus Tough X299 Mark I and i9-9820X 240mm AO water cooler, 4 sticks of Patriot Viper Steel 8GB 4133MHz, a Zotac a GTX 1060 Mini, 3TB hard drive, a 960GB M.2 drive from Corsair, Corsair 1000W power supply. We're going to put it all in the Corsair IQ 220T in black. Make sure we've got all this stuff for next day delivery. Let's order that. Let's get our water cooling parts. Let's go into our day. We'll get in all of our parts and our repair, and we can get to work. Okay. Let's see here. Let's grab this fix. That is a beast of a case. Let's get this case over here. And we will get this case over here. Let's get these names with the right people. We've got two visibles. One's visible K and one's visible W. I believe visible K is this water-cooled PC. Visible W is this overclocking PC over here. So let's take a look at this beast. Let's see if we can figure out what is wrong with it. Does it power on? Nothing at all. Let's start pulling it apart. They seem to think that it is probably the motherboard. So we'll just start pulling parts. We'll see what we get here. Let's get this CPU out of here. 
get this graphics card out of our way. Get everything unplugged. Whoops, that opened up the door on the other side of the case. Get this motherboard out of here. We can take a look. See if it is indeed broken. It is. Let's check everything else. That's still good. Their RAM's good. Graphics card's good. So let's go get them a Gigabyte X299 Design Air EX. Do I have any in stock? I do not. Let's go order one. Oops, not the custom water cooling shop. Motherboards. Let's get this ordered. We will do same day delivery. Hopefully nothing else is broken. Or it'll cost us another hundred bucks to get it in. Let's see. Motherboards. Let's get the new one installed. Let's sell off this old one. We'll get our ten dollars. Get the new one installed. I don't remember where they had their RAM. I'm going to put it right here. Let's grab their RAM. Get this thing ready for the CPU. We will get their a CPU installed. Let's get some thermal paste on there. And we can go ahead and install their CPU cooler. Then we will grab their graphics card. We'll get that reinstalled. And then let's cable this thing up. Probably should have checked. Make sure they didn't want a different color cable. Let's see if it powers on. We'll hop into the BIOS really quick. Make sure X and P is turned on. They apparently don't have an SSD. Let's let this thing boot up. Error. No OS found. So they have no operating system on this thing. That's just great. Let's power cycle it. Close this door. It's in the way. Oh, look at the speed. Look at look at how fast that is. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's close this other door. We can get this thing out in the hallway. We can get started on this first build. Let's get this case taken apart. Get everything out of our way. Okay. Let's get our motherboard in first. We've got the Asus Tough X299 Mark One. Let's get that installed. And we can get this thing ready. There we go. For a CPU and RAM. I can click on things right. There we go. Let's get the CPU installed first. It's the i9-9820X. And then we've got four sticks of Patriot Viper Steel. 8 gig, 4133 megahertz. Let's get all of those installed. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's get some thermal paste on the CPU. We can go ahead and install the CPU cooler. It is the Be Quiet Silent Loop 240 millimeter AIO water cooler. We'll get that screwed down. Let's go ahead. We will get our storage installed. Got the uh, Corsair Force Series. M.2 drive as well as a three terabyte hard drive to get that installed while we're on this side of the case let's go ahead and grab the power supply 
Corsair RM1000X. Not that we need that much power, but hey, why not? If it fits and the budget's there, why not use it? <laughs> All right. Let's get these out of the way. We can go ahead and get our graphics card in. We've got the GTX 1060 Mini. I know it sounds silly, but it's really one of the best overclockers in this game if you're looking to push something. It's not going to give you big scores, but you can definitely push the overclock with it. Definitely, definitely. Let's cable this up. Let's do black or gray, whatever this is. This is a simple case, simple color scheme, nothing too fancy. Just got to get the work done. Get a USB drive in there and we can power this thing on. We'll hop into the BIOS. Let's go ahead and turn our XMP on. Make sure we are booting from the M.2 drive. We can let the OS go ahead and install. Let's get our lighting app on. Let's get, what am I looking for? 3D Mark. And we also need GPU tuner. We need to get a 3D Mark score of 5,063. So first, let's take a look at this lighting. It's all kinds of colors. Oh, that's what's lighting up green. Well, let's make everything green. Why not? There we go. Oh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's get this GPU tuner open up. Let's overclock this thing. They want it overclocked to at least 2,160. Let's see if we can go to 22. Let's just blow their minds. <laughs> Let's go to 2,200 megahertz. We'll apply that. I'm gonna get 3D Mark running. As soon as I get a score, or if it blue screens or whatever happens, I will come right back and show you guys. Just in case you guys were wondering, this is painfully slow. There it is, 5,150. We needed 5,063, so we just beat it. We just made it happen. All right, let's get this case put back together. Get the dust filter on the top here. Hopefully putting these side panels on does not shut this thing off. I really don't want to have to sit through 3D Mark again. There we go. Take a look at it. I think it turned out pretty nice. Simple. Simple, but nice. Let's get this thing out in the hallway. We can get started on this custom water-cooled PC. Let's get this case taken apart. Both sides. It's one of the easiest cases to take apart in the game, I think. <laughs> Just two pieces of glass have to come off. Let's grab our motherboard. We've got the MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. We'll get that installed. So let's get this thing ready for CPU and RAM. Let's grab our CPU. We've got the Threadripper 2920X. Let's get that installed. And then we can go ahead and grab our RAM. We've got four sticks of Patriot Viper LED 8GIG 3600 megahertz. Let's get all four sticks of that installed. There we go. We can go ahead, grab some thermal paste, get that put on there, that huge blop of thermal paste for that massive processor. Let's hop over to our custom water cooling stuff. Let's go ahead, we will grab our CPU block. While we're at it, let's go ahead, grab our reservoir. We'll get that mounted as well as our radiator. Let's scroll down here and grab that. 
get it mounted as well. While we're on this side of the case, let's go ahead, grab our power supply. Got the Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 850 watt power supply. Power supply is kind of nice because the fan ring lights up. Looks pretty cool. Okay. I think we are ready to get our M.2 drive in here. Let's grab that. It's the A-Data Spectrix S40G 256 gig M.2 drive. We'll get that installed. Next, let's grab our two GPUs for this build. We've got two GTX 1080 Ti's water-cooled. Let's get both of those installed. There we go. There we go. Very, very nice. I think we are basically ready to cable and pipe this thing. Let's cable it first. Let's do something crazy. Let's see. Maybe some some green. Maybe it'll match the little piece of green on this, hopefully. You can always hope. There we go. That's all cabled up. Now we are ready to pipe this thing. Let's use some clear rigid pipe. What do we have for fittings? Let's use some black fittings. Start here. Run these two GPUs together. We'll run out of the CPU block into this top GPU. I believe this is the out. Let's run from there over to here. And let's do something... Something a little nicer with this... This pipe here. There we go, I don't hate that. Don't hate that at all. Let's run from here into our reservoir. That's a, a weird bend. Let's see if we can't straighten this out just a little bit. It looks kind of wonky. Like, what is this? What's happening here? There we go. That looks a little bit better. Let's go with that. And then we will run out of this GPU all the way over here. And that looks like garbage. So I'll probably step away because this one's a long run. It's going to take just a minute. So I'll step away. Let me get this straightened out. I'll be right back. All right. There we go. I can live with that. Let's get some coolant installed in this. I think... I don't know if I want to go with green or if I just want to do clear because most of these things light up RGB. But let's try some... Uh, that might not be too bad. Might not be too bad. While that's running through, let's grab a USB drive. It's almost there. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's hop into the BIOS real fast. Make sure XMP's on. As usual, let's let the OS install. We'll change some colors. We should be good to go. I'm not feeling the red and green. That's kind of a little Christmassy. Pull up the lighting app here. Let's select everything. Everything that'll let us change. Let's make it green. All green. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's bright. I think it's going to work, though. So once we put the side of this case on, the side is tinted. 
So let's get the side panels on, then we can take a good look at it. That looks so nice. Nice to have a little bit of light and color on the back side of the case. Yeah, I think that turned out really nice. Very nice. Let's get this thing out in the hallway. Let's collect some money. Let's close some of this out of our way. Let's go back down here. Let's collect that first build we did. Only four stars. Don't know why. Don't know why. But that's fine. That's fine. No problem. Let's collect this repair. All good there. And let's collect this last build we did. Another five stars. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We've got an electric bill due. Let's go ahead and pay that $396. Got some daily deals. Here's the thank you for paying that. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.